Hey friends, look what we made. We just made cranberry juice. So it's light colored right now, but the longer it sits, the more it um, will get darkened. And we left the cranberries in, so that way we have like a snack and a drink at the same time. So join me as I show you how we did it. And we can these, water bath cans, so super proud of that. Okay, we have the cranberries here rinsed off. Got our funnel. Um, the kettle is boiling water because we're gonna add boiling water to the inside and Go ahead and get the rings out. Just warming everything up. Also get the jars hot because we're going to put hot water into them and then we're going to put them back in this hot water. Let's go ahead and get the jars hot from the get-go. So grab the jars, dump the water out, and place them on a towel. So this is just a regular pot. And I have a rack at the bottom that I think goes to the Instapot. I don't know. But it fits in here fine, so it's keeping the jars off the bottom of the pan, which is important. And one more, I can fit five in here. So we're gonna do five jars of cranberry juice since that's what I can fit. And then we got our lids that have not been used in the canning process before. So they are new. Okay, that's everything. So this is, get all the way on high. This is on high, good to go. Let it boil. And okay, so you can boil the cranberries Oh, try to pick out any gross ones. You can boil the cranberries and then let them boil until they burst, and you can try to get just straight cranberry juice. You know, strain it and then add just the juice to the jars. But I actually want the cranberries in the jars, so it's kind of like a, a drink and a snack, and you're getting all the benefits of the cranberries. It'll be a chewy drink. Okay, add our sugar. I looked, up, I looked up two recipes just to make sure, and um, it doesn't say you need lemon juice to make it any more acidic for the water bath part, so that's good. I'm gonna do a little less than a quarter cup. The sugar part is optional according to the recipe. Therefore, whatever I add doesn't matter. A little bit, a lot of it, doesn't matter. I don't have an eighth cup measure, and I'm not gonna bother calculating that into the tablespoons, so. This part is just to taste. And let's get our boiling water from the kettle. I usually do tea in it, so it's got like a scorch mark at the bottom that I couldn't get scrubbed out. In case you're wondering, it's not dirty. A uh, quarter inch headspace is what the ball recipe said. While the water's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and clean off the rings because we want to make sure that the um, lid seal. Run my finger along to make sure there aren't any cracks. Should have done that first before I started putting stuff in them, but just came to mind. Okay, everything looks great. So this is boiling over here, the water bath, and then the kettle is also going to a boiling temperature of 212. So these are starting to cool down. Uh, actually, they're not. <laughs> they're still very hot, but it'll be okay. Let me just add a smidge more water to this one. Let me start getting them in the canner while I wait on the kettle. And just finger tight. Yep. Ah. Move over, make room. There we go. Okay. So 
we just want to make sure that the water is above them and see the bubbles coming out. That's a good sign. And then once this is a little bit more of a boil, we're going to set the timer for 15 minutes. All right, there's our boil. These are done, yay. Let me see if I can get it. Let me see if I can get a grip, because they're so tight. Well, <laughs> that's a struggle. All right, I need two cans. All right, got one over there. Now we can get the rest out easier. Good night, pretty. So at this point, um, you, 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 at this point, you let them sit on your pantry shelf ooh, for a month or so, and they'll really get that cranberry juice flavor in them. Or open it right away, whatever you want to do. So I will pop one open and see what I think, and then uh, I'll put the other ones on my shelf. So we'll let these sit for 24 hours, and then make more space. We, we won't mess with them. And then at that point, we will go from there. Get these a little bit closer together. We'll make we'll check the seal at 24 hours. If anything didn't seal, like mm, maybe that one, then that'll go in the fridge. All right, here's the cranberry juice. I'm so excited. So it's the next day. And this is the first thing I ever canned in my entire life. First thing I ever water bath canned. I hadn't even pressure canned yet until we did the chicken broth which was on the same day, um, but just after these. So I can see that means it didn't seal. I already took the rings off, they're over here. Oh, nope, not at all. Okay, yep, came right off. So we'll put that in the fridge. Um, okay, and this one I'm wondering. No, it's good. I don't wanna mess with them too much. All right, it's just this one. And this, you can see, I had used this in the freezer before, that's why there's a little bit of writing on here, but I'd never used it in the canning process. Therefore, I went ahead and used it in the canning process just to see how it would work. Not to be like too much of a rebel canner or anything because I want to be safe and not super experienced canner. But just because like its seal hadn't been used um, at a high temperature like that or boiled or anything. So it looks like it, it's got its seal and that's awesome. This one will go in the fridge. And even though it might not be like super strong flavored yet because it hasn't sat, it might be fine. I don't know. Or let me just taste it real quick. It's not rotten yet. Okay. I think it needs more sugar. I never made it before. I'd put more sugar in that. Okay, if you do this, add more sugar. Have a wonderful day. I will see you later. I'm going to pop up some videos for you to watch. And uh, feel free to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.